Carmelo Anthony and Hillbilly Kobe were hitting timely shots versus OKC last night, but in the dying seconds of a two-point game, instead of going back to Melo or Reeves, Westbrook committed a costly turnover and then chucked up a three-pointer that had no chance right out of his hands. Committing double-digit turnovers in the previous matchup versus OKC has led to two Laker defeats against the bottom-feeding Thunder in just the last week. The production of Carmelo, AD, and also LeBron when he's been healthy has kept the Lakers at a decent 5-4, but here's every reason for why Russell Westbrook, quite frankly, is playing trash right now. I'm a big fan of Russ, even making this video in the summer, talking about why he may finally win his first ring, but I guess I should have learned my lesson. The man needs to make some serious adjustments to his playing style in this Laker offense, and that's what we're talking about today. Welcome, this is DFlo Hoops. If you're looking for NBA hot takes, predictions, and stories on a wide range of teams and players, you came to the right place. If you're an NBA fan, subscribe and turn on notifications. Also leave a thumbs up on this video for the YouTube algorithm, it'd be greatly appreciated. So let's get into the unreasonable three-point attempts, costly turnovers, and brutal disruption of the Lakers' offensive flow from Brody. As I mentioned in the intro, I've been rooting for this man to succeed in Hollywood, but as I was so drastically wrong about, he hasn't been able to be an adequate third option next to LeBron James and Anthony Davis. At least not in this small nine game sample size, Russ could easily pick it up. But having said that, if Russ doesn't make these major adjustments that I'm gonna talk about, he's going to continue to cost the Lakers W's. If you watched LA versus OKC last night, then you witnessed Rajon Rondo provide that much needed pass first mentality without LeBron James in the lineup. Unlike Rondo, Russ tends to over dribble, awkwardly pass off balance out of ISO scenarios, which kills the rhythm of the respective possession. Committing double digit turnovers individually was an absolutely brutal outing for Russ in Oklahoma City recently. Russ needs to realize he's got one of the best scoring big men in our league next to him in Anthony Davis and the most efficient mellow of his entire career. AD's been playing really well recently and just ask Laker fans how well mellow has been playing. Russ attempted 20 shots in that 10 giveaway outing on a night where his all NBA big in Anthony Davis had 30 points and was 12 for 22 from the field. The fact that Westbrook only shot two less times than AD when the Lakers second best player was going off is absolutely blasphemous. Max Kellerman, Isaiah Russell Westbrook Thomas just committed blasphemy. Blasphemy. <laughs> like Russ took away shots from Beal in Washington and took away shots from Harden in Houston. Now the man's doing the same thing to Anthony Davis. Then there was last night where Westbrook may have only committed four turnovers, and you may be thinking, D Flo, the man had 27 points and three triples. But I'm gonna respond to that by breaking down the brutal mishaps the man had in the dying moments. I was waiting on him to find Mello on this possession where the Lakers needed a response down the stretch, but instead just some ill-advised decision making from Westbrook leading to a costly turnover. Next possession, instead of finding Carmelo who had just hit a few clutch triples, Russ decided he needed to be the hero, throwing up a contested 27 footer from the right wing that you almost knew wasn't going in the second it left his hands. I'm sick of this man shooting so many ill-advised threes for LA, turning it over in the biggest moments, and selling the Lakers' chances. I'm not going to rant too much more, but since my Laker video was blocked worldwide due to copyright a few days ago, and my message couldn't get out, I'm gonna say it again. I want to give a personal message to Westbrook if he does by chance come across this video and keep watching up to this point. Stop shooting the basketball from three, five times per game. At least limit that to one or two attempts per game. Personally, I think you should stop shooting because you can space it out with the ability to drive to the basket. Your man has to check you or you're going to dunk on them. But if you want to keep shooting, if you find the stroke, keep shooting, but don't chuck it up like you do so much. There's less pressure on you with the options around you in LA. Russ will likely never see this video and keep chucking up ridiculous three-point shots that he should never be taking, especially in this Lakers offense. Anyways, let me know your thoughts on Russ in the comments. Those are just my thoughts. 
This was D Flow. You're the best for sticking around, and I'll see you next video.